Which at many of these churches, they, they say that's a sin to drink wine, right? Okay, but the scriptures tell you plainly, the prophecies tell you plainly that the Lord was gonna drink wine, man. And that his eyes shall be red with wine. This is Genesis 49. Genesis 49 and 12, it says, His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. Okay? The Lord drunk wine. We really call Jesus Christ was known, all right, as a person that drunk wine. Okay? That's why his eyes was red. And the second reason is because he's, 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 he has the day of vengeance burning in his heart, meaning he wants to destroy this place, man. So his eyes was like a flame of fire. Okay, keep reading. And his feet like unto fine brass, if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. His feet like unto fine brass. Brass is the derivative of brown. Okay, and then it says as if it burn in a furnace, meaning it's dark brown. Keep reading. That's right. That's right. Three. Keep reading. And his voice has the sound of many waters. And his voice has the sound of many waters. So the Lord spoke with a, a very powerful voice. Now why in the world will you watch these so-called movies of, or uh, cinema portrayed of the Lord, they always got him as this Caucasian devil, right? Because that's a deceiver. Yeah, y'all see devils, okay? A deceiver, right? With a, with a little feminine Peter Pan uh, type voice talking all low and sensitive and stuff, right? Okay? They never show him drinking wine or his eyes being red from drinking wine. Okay? And he doesn't possess woolly hair. Okay? And it's not white. Nor is he brown skin, like the scriptures say. So, so, what is this? This ain't the Lord. Go to Daniel chapter 10. Alright? So the Lord said, if you love him, to hate the evil. This image right here is, is not the image of the Lord. So this image right here is evil. Okay? All right? And the people that created this, all right, Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, all right, by the decree of Alexander uh, VI Pope of Rome, all right, Rodrigo Bozier, all right, to depict the image of his son, Cedro Bozier, as the, as the Christ. Okay? As the Lord. And that's blasphemy, okay? And that's one reason why this place is gonna be destroyed. And that's why one reason this man wanna ask a simple ass question saying why are we talking about hate? This is evil. Keep reading. Uh, Daniel chapter 10 verse five. Yeah. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen. Uh-huh. Whose loins were girded with fine gold of oak ophers, and his body also like the like the barrel and his face as the appearance of light yeah because the scriptures tell you that wisdom make of your face to shine okay all right and it say also okay that he had on a, a garment with the belt the golden belt and it was the color of barrel which is a greenish color keep reading and his eyes as the lamps of fire and it, same thing about his eyes keep reading and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. Now the scriptures say his arms and his feet like in color to fine brass or polished brass. It's a lot. And when you look up that word polished, it just it says the same thing it says in Revelation. Burnished brass. Alright, so the Lord is a man of color. Now now they like to say, well, well, uh, that's because he's from Palestine and the people over there, he has to look like an Arab. Go to, go to uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. All right? This is one of the major reasons why there's no, no repentance for you so-called white people. Okay? And that why America will be destroyed. All right? It's just one of many reasons. This place is going to be destroyed, man. 
All right, you don't blaspheme the son of the of the of the, of the heavenly Father. All right, depicting him as this madness, and it's not scriptural. And then you portray it around the world, you're gonna be destroyed. Hebrews chapter seven, verse fourteen. Oh, for, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The scriptures say it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The Lord came from the tribe of Judah. This ain't for you, uh, man. Which the tribe Moses make nothing concerning priesthood. That's right. All right. That's right. The tribe which the Lord spoke, uh, Moses spoke nothing of, of the priesthood. All right, because the priesthood, all right, the priesthood was of the Levitical order. Okay? Which that was the Levites. The Lord was from the tribe of Judah. Okay? Now go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Let's find out about what the color or the, or the, the description of the tribe of Judah. Did you know people, they, oh, that's parabolic. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Yeah. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. The scriptures say Judah mourneth, all right? They're mourning because they're on a low state, all right? They're under the curses. Or Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15 through 68. And Leviticus chapter 26, verse 14 through 39. And various other scriptures that fit them. And, now, and the Jews are you so-called Negroes, okay? You're in mourning state. And it says the gates there of language. The gates represent your leaders, all right? The N what, the NCAAP? Or whatever the association of uh, whatever that shit called with Jesse Jackass and Al the Slick Tongue Charlton Sharpton in it, whatever they call, it, I think it's the NCAAP, whatever it's called, man. You know what I'm talking about, all right? They were supposed to be your so-called leaders, and they they languish, meaning they they faint, man, because those ain't real leaders. All of them done sold out. They're part of a a, a so-called fraternity, all right? A secret order called the boule man which is like the black the black form of the illuminati man they're masons they're a bunch of witches if you a mason you are a witch okay all right and we know what y'all worship some jebelon or whatever the fuck that shit is called and baphomet which is an abomination man it's an abomination that's why this place is gonna be destroyed that's why you people are destroyed man and the mind because you you follow the ways of america which is basically the worship of Baphomet, an androgynous, demonic uh, entity, man. That's why you accept such things as homosexuality, bestiality, fucking pedophilia, all right, with Nebula, all right, and all types of madness, man. Cross-dressing, all that is the worship of Baphomet, man, all right, which is one of the major deities of these masons, man, all right, and you niggas that's in the boule, okay? All right, and they set up to keep you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans docile to the fact that you are the Israelites. All right, that's why every time something bad happens to a Negro, Latino, or Native American, and it becomes publicized, they always bring in the NCAAP, the them smooth-faced, simple-minded Negroes, all right, to to somehow rile you up. Or to try to calm you down, but they, they march off all that anger and frustration you have. They have you march it off. Okay? Besides showing you who the enemy is, all right, and why they doing this to you. Because they know if they show it, they're going to be put to death. So that's why they got to bedazzle and keep Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans occupied with marching and eating Skittles and drinking damn tea and getting diabetes type 2 and cavities, man. And making, making all these other people rich off of your simplicity. Keep reading that scripture. And Jeremiah 14. So like I said, Judah Mortar and the gates language. They are black unto the ground. They are black unto the ground. You look up that word black, it's quadar, which means dark skin, okay? If it was black, like the color black, it'd be a uh, shock of war, but it's not, it's quadar. So it's meaning dark skin. And when you go look it up even more, in the genius lexicon, it's saying being darkened by the sun or sunburn. Now, now 
so-called Negroes, when, when they get in the sun, they get darker. They don't 